Hi, so I just upgraded from Cubase Elements to Cubase Artists, and I kind of want to give you some rundown of the new features that you get with Artists. So if you just upgraded yourself or considering to upgrade, this could be helpful for you. So today I want to talk about uh, the feature called Comping, which if we go to the comparison chart, you see artist here and elements here and comping is this guy down here. So artist has it, element does not. So what is comping? So the word itself is essentially, it, it's um, composite. So essentially just to, to combine. And that is exactly what we're doing. So we, record a bunch of different takes and we combine them into one super take. So the way that I would usually end up doing this in Cubase Elements is just like record a bunch of takes. Like this, in this case, I have a acoustic guitar. So just take one, take two, take three, and so on and so forth. And then I have like a um, main lead track or whatever, my, my super track. And I would just go about and like, yeah, I want these, and I want those, and I want this, and I want... And yeah, that's just essentially the way I've been doing it in the past. And Cubase Artist comes with a feature that's really convenient because it's like built to do just this thing. And that's the thing called comping. So I have prepared a little track up here, like a cooking show, I have prepared. And so the way you do this is, instead of doing it the old way and just make a whole bunch of tracks, which it kind of sucked to have these many tracks and elements as well, since elements actually have a limit on the amount of tracks you can have. So in artists, you can just record all the things right on top of each other. So if you do this in elements, you just have an absolute mess on your hands to sit and try and edit this out and get it the way you want it. But so in, um, uh, in artist, you can press this little show lanes and all the tracks that you have recorded on top of each other are shown in different lanes. So you actually have all of your takes Nothing is lost, nothing is a mess, and they are all right here. Now, what you can do is use this little tool up here called Comp, which is this hand figure. So you press the hand. Now you can, if you just press one of the takes, you will see it, the main track up here switches to that take. And if you press and hold, you can select, so we have, this track up here selected. And if I press and hold on this track down here, it combines it. So we first have this track starting up here, and then we get to here and it switches over to this track, I play that over here, and then it switches back. So now I am on a grid, so you can see that it goes like boop, but if you want to be a bit more precise, you can just turn off the grid and go like, yeah, I want this note. And then it goes back. And also if, um, if you just want to extend this, you can just go down to the, uh, to the corner and drag it over. No, sorry. Don't go to the corner, go to just the, just the edge and you can just drag that over to have it extend a bit more. Oops, don't move it. <laughs> so this kind of works as per usual. And also what you can do if, if you're just like, yeah, I want to know what this part sounds like and I don't want to like actually select it before I know, if you just hold control, you can see that my cursor switch over to this like speaker icon and you can just press the lane that you want to hear. And it will actually play that lane even though it's not the track that you have selected. If you look up here, there's just silence up here. Like if we, if we play that part, it's just silence. But this little track down here has some audio. So if we control and click, we can actually hear that part. 
And if we like that part, just click and hold, drag, boom, and we have it. So that's essentially how comping works. And whenever you feel like, yeah, this is the way I wanted it, you can just stop showing the lanes and you will still have all these overlaps. And what you could do is just go and press this little arrow and do remove overlaps on everything. Or if you wanna commit a bit harder to keeping it this way and you're too lazy to do and remove overlaps on everything, maybe you have like a shit bunch of stuff, you can just select everything, go to audio up here and bounce selection. And you get this replace events. Yes, I wanna replace. And then we have just this one clean track, which is our, our super take. So that is essentially comping. I hope you found that useful. So if you've been struggling with doing it this way on the elements, <laughs> let me know in the comment section below, or if there's anything else that you want me to cover. So hope you found it useful. Have a good one.